When Andover Audio assembled a team of designers and engineers from multiple parts of the consumer electronics industry, they quickly realized a huge growth was happening in the world of audio. A resurgence in vinyl records was happening, but there was a lack of super high quality all-in-one systems to play it back. Designing an all-in-one unit meant the engineers would have to overcome the problems that normally occur when your turntable is super close to your speakers. Toward the end of 2019, Andover Audio released the Spinbase, an all-in-one speaker system designed to sit directly underneath your turntable. You're probably wondering how they managed to make this happen, and the answer is Isogroove technology. We'll touch on this later, but needless to say, it's pretty cool, and it's a complete breakthrough in isolation technology. If you want to read our full review on the Spinbase, head over to audiovice.com by clicking on the link in the description below. Along with this review, you'll find hundreds of other reviews, comparisons, buyer's guides, and much more. Now let's take a look at this clever solution to getting great vinyl sound in a small space, the Spin Bass by Andover Audio. The Spin Bass is an all-in-one speaker system in a very compact package that's about the same width and depth as a typical turntable. It has a fairly retro look to it, and it's available in a black or white finish. At 18 inches wide, 13 and a half inches deep, and about three and a quarter inches tall, the size will accommodate just about any turntable you would likely use with the spin base. A finely perforated metal grill wraps around three sides of the unit. There are more controls and inputs on the back. There's also a large Andover Audio logo right on top of the unit, but your turntable will cover this up. Since it's a little deeper than a typical bookcase, especially after you leave room for your turntable connection plugs, the spin base won't fit on a normal 12 inch deep bookshelf. However, it will be right at home sitting on top of a tabletop, desktop, or a small table. The build quality is very good for the price of the spin base. It's not quite what you would get with a name or a Macintosh all in one piece, but for the price, it's pretty darn good. The volume control feels solid and there's absolutely no wiggle to it. The rear input connectors are standard for what you'd expect in this price category. You will need to use it close to the AC outlet as the power cord is fairly short. This was one small complaint we had, although the extension cord is a simple and convenient way to solve this. The spin base actually has two phono connections on the rear. One for normal magnetic moving magnet phono cartridges and another for ceramic cartridges. Ceramic cartridges are what you would find in cheaper all-in-one record players. Many of these types have an audio out, which allows you to connect to the spin base and improve the sound, but we highly recommend that you stay away from this type of turntable if you care about preserving your records. The neat part is the ceramic input can be toggled with the flick of a switch to be a line in analog input for a CD player, DAC, or cassette deck. Right beside the two sets of inputs, you'll find a bass and treble control and even a mini headphone jack. The final icing on the cake from an input perspective is the addition of Bluetooth 5.0. Connecting was quick and simple. Within seconds, we were streaming Tidal to our test unit. This is a great combination of inputs and controls that make the spin base the perfect all-in-one music center for your turntable. Other than its additional three and a quarter inches of vertical space, the footprint for your new music system will not be much larger than the space your turntable already takes up. It uses what is basically a stereo pair of speakers that uses two woofers and two tweeters. We were so curious about how this filled up our room with such a wide sound, we took our sample apart to have a peek behind the grill. There are two forward firing dome tweeters on each end of the front panel and two oval mid-bass bass drivers mounted on the sides firing out. This configuration gives the spin bass a 270 degree sound field that creates a really pleasant room filling sound. This isn't the ideal setup for a true two-channel hi-fi feel, but if you're more interested in just getting great sound out into your room, then it's perfect. Each speaker driver has its own individual power amp, and there's a good bit of room inside the spin base to develop some decent bass, which helps with the warm sound. One other piece of great tech is Andover's Isogroove technology. Putting a turntable on top of the speaker has always been a total no-no because of the issues from acoustic feedback. However, the team at Andover Audio is using both mechanical and electronic compensation systems to eliminate any chance of feedback. We have to say, for $300, this is an outstandingly good sounding product. We gave the spin base a full gamut of testing. We used a Project Debut Carbon as the turntable, 
Accord Mojo has an analog input and title for Bluetooth 5.0 streaming. In each and every single case, it provided a warm and rich sound and never any trace of an edge. The tone controls are also very well thought out. Neither one has a dramatic effect and they can be used more for fine tuning. In other words, turning the bass control even wide open doesn't overdo the bass like you'd expect. The treble is especially nice to back down, just a shade on an overly bright recording. The spin bass also turned out to be a great background music player. It keeps this warm sound even when you turn the volume down low. The real surprise came to us when we cranked up the volume really loud. Andover's ISO Groove Tech really works and prevents any acoustic feedback or vibrations from getting to the turntable. The spin bass is the perfect solution for someone who has a very limited space and wants to have a good vinyl playback system. You can buy a turntable without a phono preamp built in, which allows you to get a better table for the same money and use the built-in phono preamp in the spin bass instead. Don't get us wrong, the spin bass is not as good as a separate pair of four to $500 powered speakers spread apart for better separation, but it's a great problem solver for space and for someone who likes having plenty of features. You can spend another $50 and get something like the Peachtree M24 or Canto U4. Both of these have the same features and sound better, but they'll both take up more space and you need to spread them out to prevent any feedback when using a turntable. If you have any questions about the spin bass or any other home audio and home theater gear, be sure to give us a call, chat with one of our experts at audiovice.com, or stop in the one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina showrooms. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great home audio and home theater content. We'll see you next time. Thank you.